doing? We're live. That's what I want to know. Come on. We're live right now. Hey, this is Eric with the subvet.com. We're live on Facebook. Just a half an hour more than we promised. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> past past I got time. Patrick Cleveland up here, and I got Stella Looney, the comedian. One's from Utah, the other one is from Orlando, Florida. I am from the great state of Colorado, the Rocky Mountain State. That's where we're all high. Because, uh, well, you know, you can figure that Legalize out. Legalize it. <laughs> well, legalize there. I mean, you know, but it doesn't mean that y'all are all high there. I mean, because it's just across the border. It's not a problem. So, so, uh, so you, from Utah, you can drive across and come get some if you wanted sure. to? Oh my god. Well think about it. I can also go to Nevada too. So I, I got I got covered. I so can you, get away. You're surrounded. <laughs> That's what she said. That's right. That's what she said. <laughs> you literally her. Hey, let me check my sound levels real quick. <laughs> Alright, check yeah, cause uh, yeah, you're playing some groovy music there for a second. Hey, you know, if you don't have if you All right, have, I'm good. Never, if you don't have the legal stuff to get high, I'll tell you what. You just go to the dentist a lot and just ask for nitrous and tell them to pump it up. Okay. Do they do that anymore? <laughs> That's like whippets back in the day. Yeah. No, I, every time I go to the dentist, I'm, t- I'm telling you. I'm like, hey, you guys, I got high anxiety. Just throw on that nitrous, baby. Come on. You, uh, for they real? Know for reals? You got that? For, I haven't seen a reals. dentist. I haven't seen that in a long time. Oh my gosh, it's awesome! Trust me. Oh my gosh, pump it up! Oh yeah, you got, you got an address? <laughs> all right. What? Okay, all right. Anybody got us monitored on Facebook? I don't know. Um, I can see something is happening on Facebook. Let me turn the sound down. Yeah, we scared. exist. And we are. I'm gonna make alive. a comment. Yeah, make a comment. I'm trying to get signed in. On another computer. We exist. Right, there you go. Yeah, I want somebody to monitor the chat room and see if anybody makes comments. There should be a chat beside it. Is there a chat beside it, Pat? On Facebook, there is. This is the regular chat. Yeah. All right. So check so it out. You monitor, right, you monitor the chat. It. So anybody, this is Eric with the subvet.com. So you can get me at the subvet at gmail.com, which you can see that. And Pat's going to monitor the chat. So if, if you're on, which we doubt anybody is on here, you can. <laughs> Put a question to the side and uh, tell us how we sound and, and uh, how we're doing. So, but right now we're gonna record yeah, uh, this. The first person to comment on this live feed, I will type your name incorrectly on the chat. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so, it, it's, late. It's, yeah. It's, it's a Tuesday night going into. Is it, or is it Tuesday? I forgot what night it is. Four people watching. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. What, I, I got so much equipment and wires here. I'm all tied up. Three and then one more, right? <laughs> hey, hey right? whoever's on there, come say hello. So I do have the Sailor's Choice on here. The <laughs> <Sailor's> <laughs> that was quick. Did you, you hear it? Okay, so you got uh, this is play with it. And then put the stuff in. So I want to bring this up. Yeah, so somebody hopped on and All right. got off. Uh, and then you got off. Ah, chicken. Hey, I'm hanging, with, <laughs> I'm hanging with my buddy over here, and he's trying to log on so that he can spell his name wrong. Hey, there hey, you how's go. Going? What's going on? Yeah. That's Marvin. Marvin. Hey. All right. Hey, what's good, Marvin? All right, not much. How you doing, bro? All right. Okay. So I, th- I, I was trying to link. link oh, so he's gonna, too, he's but... gonna. Laugh at you and, you know, maybe you'll be able to. His name will be put on the spell on. He's logging on. Is, oh, he's logging he's on Facebook accepted, right now. Right. We're, to watch this. Sure, I can work it out. Or can it be anybody? I can do all that. Yeah, if you go to the subvet dot com, I, I don't. Is he here? Let me see this. I might have to invite him on there. Facebook dot com slash esry. Type in the sub vet in your search window. I'm just doing, you know, don't don't mind me, guys. Okay. Uh, I don't. All I see is a oh, phone. You know what? <laughs> I might be the fourth person. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, let me look at this. I can't see. Uh. So I'm gonna put Pat. Where'd you find that picture of us? Okay, right there. Twelve years old. That was a million years ago. 
Uh, Eric, it's a good do those things for you. Like you're young. <laughs> I can go in and accept you. No Eric. Yeah. I, I don't know. Eric, I, where'd I, you find that picture that, of us from when we were 12 years old? That was 10 Wait. years ago. That was only, a, that's only, Wait, hold on, but I thought Eric was 11. I was 11. We well, I mean, Pat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we live in a, a, a trans time dimensional warp here. We, right. we broke time and space. Never grow up. I did, the, I yeah. He's never grown exactly up for age. Uh, um, yeah, I think we, we broke time and space at Sierra Fox Trot. I know. I know. got a computer okay. that works here, and it ain't working. I was just trying to figure that all out because you know. All right, we're getting ready to launch a rocket. What do we got? I'm pending. <laughs> okay. Are you pending? All right. Oh, I gotta pending? do something, guys. Well, yeah. I, I have to. Are you an admin? Are second. you an admin? Just, you know. Well, you can leave Marvin on. Yeah, leave Marvin on. Put the video back on. Where's Marvin? I am. No, it, it, we just see you. Got him. There's no video. I got him. Oh, you I got him. You got him? Hey. Okay. You got him? I got, I got him. him approved. <laughs> All right. That. Did you approve him? You. I got him covered. Uh, probably. All right. Now Did I see. beat y'all? Now we got we got somebody in Facebook right. with us. We got one person. There you are. Okay, now join. Go up here. No, that's not it. Go up here. Go up here. Now join that one. Now go down here. Now we're down to two people. See that link? I think. Wait a minute. How do we get down to Hang two? On. I don't oh, know. Where, yeah. Oh, we're going down. Hey, where does he? Hey, the link's not there on my Facebook. Oh, I see it. So now you Keep can start down. a watch party. Keep going see, down. So if you click on the that. start a watch party on Facebook, you can put it on your own link wherever you want to put it. So I'm going to put it over to my main. Like you'd want to put this on your own link, right? I'm going to put it on my own link. Uh, he's... Boom. It's out there. Trying to find it and it's not there. So we're still working out some technical difficulties and uh -huh. making things right. Hey, this is no better. I, I, I can't talk about what yeah. I do for a living. I don't well, you know, work anywhere. I work for 7 Eleven. I mean, that's you know. So that's the thing. You can't talk about what you do per, per se because, you know, you don't want to make your you employer mad you at you. Put it on your own link <laughs> wherever you want to. So I work for 7 Eleven and Burger King. Put it over to my main. Like, you'd want to put this on your own link, right? <laughs> I'm going to put it on my own link. Uh, he's, oh, yeah, I know, right? So like, I, I work for. Find it and it's not there. So we're still, still working out. Is this like a mockery? Like I see my, I hear my echo in the background of other stuff I just said. Yeah. What is that about? The Pat, Pat typed in the Sailor's Choice Live. <laughs> what? No, it's supposed to be. All right, so I'm, I'm here. I see it. All right, we got three viewers. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. Okay, so you got to play. Uh, Amber might be. I don't know. I'm gonna bite Amber. So, oh, Lieutenant Commander Anderson's there, but I don't know if he's online. Guess Travis, what? let's try I to invite Travis. Marvin's trying to get on. <laughs> Judge Spitzer. <laughs> but I can't see if they're online. You know, I love pre to the pre show. Oh, there's Ed McCuller. He was a. Because, you know, you don't want to make your. I'm going to tell him we're live. Is this like a mockery? Like, I see my. I hear my echo in the background <laughs> of other stuff I just said. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta turn the volume Pat, down. Pat uh, typed in the hey, that sounds better. I'm left What? Yeah. Alright, so I'm, I'm here. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm all wrapped up. Like I said, I was. I think my audio just. Sure. My video just dropped out. My dog is attacking me. Oh, there's Ed McCuller. He was a. I can see you. Boy, there is a minute lag. A minute, what? How many seconds? So, whoever's got computers in the background, you need to turn the volume down. Hey, that sounds better. Yeah, you got to turn all the volume down. That's out. all you guys. This is yeah. not me. All right, I, I just turned it all That's down. That's all y'all. Everything's now on my levels are down. Sounds better. There we go. Anybody? Anybody in chat? Down. Anybody in chat? Sounds like a related incident. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Florida is too too a little too loud. <laughs> so Florida is a little too Florida loud. is too loud. Uh, Pat, you're what, what am I am I projecting too much? No, you're a little too loud, my friend. You got to What can like I do, back, Eric? Like back I know, that's Eric's problem. Eric, turn my mic down. All right, I got you down. I turned you down. You're down. All right. 
You're down. Testing one, two. Okay. How do I sound? I sound better. Sound better. good? Yes. Yeah, because I was coming through loud on YouTube. On YouTube? I cannot get you guys. Is it yeah, when you were live streaming, I listened to some of it, and my voice was coming through loud for some reason. Oh, okay. So, well, I have to set the levels. Okay. I didn't have them set properly. Yeah. So it should be good. So now. Hold, hold on. I'm going to see what I sound like. Testing one, two, one, two. <laughs> Just a little too loud. Testing one, two. Well, this is yeah, fun. To testing, yeah. You're still too loud? Hey, my... my I think my equipment's working too well, yeah. So, so you're good? That's what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, just turn me down a little bit. <clears throat> you know, you guys all just need to use a cell phone. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a $2,000 phone <laughs> right? call. Like, y'all just need to use <clears throat> a cell phone. That's all I got going on right here. I don't use anything else. Are you kidding? Why would I do something like that? All right, this is a little bit hey, better. We still get I think my mic has got problems. <laughs> there we go. Well, I'm boosting pro at? pretty loud now, probably. How you doing? How you doing? Hey. Did you not so, get all the reviews? I'm probably. testing sexy voice now. Sexy voice testing one, two, one, two. Hey, baby. Is that a sexy voice? <laughs> all right, so what's everybody got going on? I mean, we had... We had a bunch of things we we're going to talk about. So, I mean, you got COVID nineteen. What were we going right? to talk about? And uh, I sent COVID oh, packing. He come by selling yeah. vacuum cleaners earlier, but I told him I didn't have time for it. What? Yeah. Wait so, a minute. Why would he come? Wait, you got a door to door salesman now out selling vacuum, vacuum cleaners? What? Yeah. We like went a into a pack. time warp. He was selling um, rainbow that? rainbow vacuums and what, what's what was the other one? What was the other one I used to sell back in the day? Oh man, I don't know, but I Kirby, used to do that. Kirby, I yeah, used to Kirby's are awesome. Kirby? <laughs> Kirby's what oh, you need. Man. Kirby that hurt you my up. brain. Kirby, that hurt my brain trying to think back that far. Yeah, Kirby sucks Kirby. everything. <laughs> the Kirby vacuum. Yeah, those were. Those things were tanks, though. Yeah, they were. They last a long time. Yeah. Those those rainbow ones, they're all just a bunch of plastic. All it is for some water. Yeah, but nobody wants to the change hair. the water or change bags anymore. You know, um, I actually bought one of those sharks, one of those shark, like, was that door -to -door whatever door -to -door vacuums, and it actually works. That was door to door wow. as well. I, I like it better than the Dyson. No, those are at the store. Do no, they're not door to door. Sharks? What? No, no, no. You can buy that. No, they're on the late night infomercials. Yeah. Oh, infomercial. Okay. Yeah, door to door is called, yeah. it's called right. Amazon.com. Yeah, it's Amazon Prime. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to tell you what not to buy. Do not buy a battery-operated crosswave, okay? Let's just say it's sitting in the back of my car waiting to go back to Walmart. <laughs> what is a battery-operated crosswave? <laughs> so it's supposed to be this magic vacuum that also mops and vacuums. Like, you oh, know, okay. <laughs> okay, here's the deal, right? So it's a rechargeable one. It takes four hours to charge the thing, and it'll only last 20 minutes. Yeah, I thought that was like some kind of new personal toy or whatever. So I'm going to bring well, it. Well, if you wanted to ride it, I guess it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> Speaking of the battery-operated cross. That's what the kids are calling it these days. Oh, is that what they are? It's a cross wave. Ooh, baby. Yeah, okay. Yeah, suck it up, baby. <laughs> I, I think Let's my ride that wave. That's bad. <laughs> that is so bad. I think my internet's near the uh, microwave. Anyways, the USS Min Minneapolis. I'm trying to pull it up. Minnesota. I'm sorry, Minnesota. So there's a picture, mm -hmm. and it's got a red arrow. And they and they say that's some kind of laser rifle. Go figure that out. It says carrying a laser, a laser rifle. rifle. I got I got to look at what you're talking about. All right, now is this a laser energy rifle or a laser painting rifle? So I read about it. Sounds things like, are often yeah, painted by lasers. Yeah, they're saying it, yeah it, it can disrupt. Uh, it's something I guess is trying to do a range on you. Maybe you point this rifle at it. Uh, apparently, there's a need for it. And it's interesting. What's the need? And maybe he wasn't supposed to show it, because I've never heard of anything like that. Well, you know, I think I'll just pack one of those in one of my gypsy mobiles. It sounds pretty cool. 
Yeah, I, mean, I like yeah, that. I'm, I'm reading yeah. the article right I mean, I here. Can, you know, especially if it's a paint well, one, like if I could aim and shoot paint at these people, that'd be awesome. And you get get with your dentist know. and hang the out only- with the gas, you're good to go. Laser rifle, right? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> yeah, Eric. The only the only thing with this, if they had some kind of laser guided or some laser powered weapon, would you have it handheld? Yeah, by just it, some it random sailor. Make sense. I'm just looking at it. Yeah. So it's got the standard. Uh, I mean, the, it, might, it depends on how you hold it. Yeah, it might be something that you can uh, <laughs> point at a target and have something shot at it. Yeah, you just got to be careful with yeah where you point that. So you can see or, the periscope is completely for, different, uh, though. I mean, it's I mean, they they got they got the game, it's, it's like video gaming guitar. down there on those Virginia class submarines. They actually use a uh, not a I thought it was a PlayStation, yeah. but it's actually it's an Xbox controller game. to move their scope around. And they got laser rifles, mm-hmm. game hey. controllers. Hey, looking through that uh, article, it, it looks like it might be for more of a human deterrent. You know how they're always talking about uh, like a sunburn airline pilots are being well no but you know how they're they're always saying like airline pilots are being blinded by these these laser pointers okay. that the kids have that you can get at like Staples or whatever right, right. Um, if if that can do that much damage imagine what a military grade laser rifle could do to a oncoming boat you know some somebody trying to charge the ship and take over the ship. So, so it's, I, I it's, think that's more of a uh, of a human deterrent. Maybe it's blinding them somehow, or oh yeah, yeah. blind them. It bl- could be blinding them. We don't know. All they got to do is put on some Stella glasses, and they'd be fine. Yeah, well, that so, could block so a lot of stuff. Ready for the laser, I mean, no know, problem. <laughs> that's all they got to do. They'd be but, do good. You, but do you think that the laser pointers that you get for for um, you know presentations I, and everything I, that I, that can blind an airline right pilot think, oh man it's it's on the kitchen table out there but yeah it's easy to play with the dog all the time the dog loves that thing oh yeah the dogs the cats whatever yeah, can that blind the pilot the nuts, right yeah what, what's going on yeah. with that or or the best yeah. is when you can like you know you're in a big group of people and they're all freaking out wondering who's gonna get shot yeah yeah <laughs> so, so that, that's night time i mean they got like a disco on top you know, they get a, a, you know, like a disco ball out there projecting all the different disco hey, lights. Well, that'd, that'd be a good that countermeasure. Yeah, yeah, if you, you launch balls. some disco balls out of the back of a jet. <laughs> Maybe they eject them. That's, <laughs> instead of, that's instead pretty of much. Uh, I know what I have as a response for that. You, you, you know, some know. of the countermeasures are like that. It's just pieces of yeah. foil. That's, well, that's true. I did. I mean, we're making jokes, but yeah, that, that's uh, no, no, no. This, that, this that's stuff no is joke. Okay, that's yeah. exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they shoot disco balls out of the back of fighter jets. <laughs> oh my maybe, god! Maybe Virginia class. <laughs> hey, the new Virginia class submarines. I don't know if you've. I, I put a picture on the website not too long ago, but they got missile tubes on four of the sail that look like the Trident ones. Two on each side, I think. It, it is so freaky seeing the missile okay. hatches open board of the sail. So you know how in the SSB so there there would be like four across. No, uh, two on each side, I think, is what it what it, what it has. So they say it's for SEAL Team uh, Ops, and also uh, it can carry those uh, Tomahawk canisters or seven missiles per tube on the uh, like the USS Florida. Uh, who's who's another SSB? Oh, jeez, Ohio. So my question is: Is what do they do with these with on off hours? I mean, you know, like when they're just sitting there. Well, I mean, oh, does some, play somebody's with them? getting in trouble. They're, they're <laughs> somebody's <laughs> already been written up over goofing off with the laser right now. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so you know, these others. I, I don't know. I mean, what are they? You got to keep that locked up. There's listen, sailors get in so much trouble. We we are the most inventive troublemakers in the world. If you have anything, I don't care if it's a brick. I don't care if it's a glass of water. We're going to find a way to mess it up. Well, I'm trying to figure out how the you know Master what? Chief always finds I, it. I, I think no, I could no, have no. had a good time on that ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. We can either that confirm or deny we did uh, we did some yep. stuff on a Triton submarine that you probably shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. I was never on a submarine. Yeah, you were? I was never there. No, I'm denying the whole thing. Yeah, with a six-inch screen. <laughs> There's ten years there. of my life we're I can't We're just playing dominoes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you were playing dominoes uh, off uh, shore with all well, the. Uh, well, no I joke. Know, Actually, we. Bikini we one? Yeah, back then well, you didn't have the computer, the so you played dominoes, like you played cards. What? You, know, you watch flicks. You know, what do they do? They game now. I think I heard they have internal servers where yeah. they. 
play like World of Warcraft type stuff. Whatever, whatever you call that. So. Oh, that's what, gonna be from crazy. one sub to the other to see who can crash each other out just by video game, and that's it. Oh no, no, hey, no, no it's you, all internal. You know, There's it's no, like one uh, sub to the other, but they don't really sync it, or what? Yeah, yeah no just talking. internal. <laughs> now, when you when you're out, um, you're you're gone. It your your whole job is to not exist when you're out to see. So that yeah, you would you wouldn't uh, hang out with other subs like, unless you're doing some kind of war games. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, well, you're, you're, of course you want to get visible. Yeah, your whole thing is yeah. to disappear. So I'm, I'm, yep, wonder, I'm wondering but, if I get email and stuff. You know, when you're no all idea. in that one sub. And if I'm anybody's security is listening, we don't know jack together. nothing about what these submarines I've seen do. down Periscope. That's 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I my, my submarine knowledge ended in 98, and I got as far away from it as I could. I'm just now creeping back into the submarine community. Um, proud of it, love it, but... Uh, you know, if you served, you know. <laughs> you yeah, I'm glad you guys are out there from uh, it as as punching you holes for us, and we, we're no longer doing it. I mean, we're just we're just part of the past, but it is what it is. Hey, glad you served. You know what? You know, I'll I'll give you that thumbs up. You served and you went and you played on the on the subs, right? Oh yeah, we uh, yeah, you know, we, went we in played. harm's way and <laughs> did our part. Did you? So did you ever? Did you ever experience any kind of battle while you were out, or were you just like messing around? Help it, me out well, with that. The, the whole thing is is kind of like uh, you get paid for what you know, not for what you do. So I wouldn't okay. say we didn't do anything, but the fact that we were there, we didn't have to. So you get oh, used to eighteen-hour hey, days. So it's this is pretty awesome. Yeah. I don't think I can wear these glasses anymore. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're like a we're like a very intimidating security guard. Uh, if you do your job well enough, you don't have to do it. Gotcha. That's exactly so. <laughs> what. It, the, yeah, the old forty-one for freedom or, or the Cold War. That's what we were. We we're intimidating security guards. I never really thought about it that way. You know, he's walking yeah, dude, around. Yeah, we were our whole. And you make a decision. At, no, well, the. the uh, yeah. Do I want to mess with that guy? You have the laser gun right there with you? No, Eric. You we were we were the strategic deterrent. You know, I always call this strategic detergent. <laughs> you know, but uh, we, we were the strategic. Uh, don't drop the soap on your shit. So. I know. Hey, okay. we we should market some kind of soap like that called strategic detergent. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah. no, we we yeah. were. Make we, sure you put "Don't drop the soap." So yeah. Well. Uh, that's it. <laughs> so we added Stella to put the women part. Woman part. She's she's doing the female part of the show. But there is females yeah. on submarines, and believe it or not, I've heard. But talking to people. That there's females close to uh, the XO and CO pipeline. So well, soon. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't start there. You know, I'm surprised they didn't start from I the think top they start, down. Start out officer, and it's been it's been over ten years, and uh, one of them's an yeah. astronaut now. And what's so. the, the the first thing they did as soon as they put a female on the submarine is, is the guys went crazy with the cameras, trying oh, to sneak yeah, into the showers and whatnot. Yeah, so we think uh, about all the technology. The showers. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, and then these were officers. You know what, you guys? I think I would have had to just take my own little porta potty with me uh. and just stuck in my own room, man. Well, Leave well, yeah, they, they should have started off with either, I mean, not for nothing, but either an all female crew or a female CO. Well, well yeah, just to get it sad. over with. Well, it's our culture too. Yeah, and then you got to think about right the culture, culture issue. Other, other navies have been doing this for years. And they don't care about being naked around each other because they grew up like, well, when I was over in Europe 20 years, people just go to the beach and they just got naked. They didn't care. Well, hey, that's the other thing, too. Don't phase it in. Just drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Just come all, all at once. You know, just. Uh, Why don't they just invite the women and the guys and they just say, listen, this is just a drop it all naked thing and let's just all get on the side well, yeah, and be on there for a while. So yeah, you got to get 50 50. Yeah, just so is what it is. The cameras out. It's no big deal. <laughs> yeah. You already seen it. You already got it. Yeah, it's right the, there in I, front of I you. think the phasing in could be as hard as the, the whole concept itself. Sometimes when you're given something and you're like, this is your new life, you're like, okay. <laughs> you know, we don't. Uh, you know, on here, what? <laughs> yeah, you just, no, you just, I mean, the whole Navy was like that. Boot camp, my life changed the very day I showed up at boot camp. Uh, they said, this is your new life. And I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I went to sub school and they go, this is your new life. And I'm like, okay. Got and then it. I went out to sea for three months. They go, this is your new life. And I said, okay. If they said, hey, half the crew is going to be women now. All right. 
That's, that's yeah. exactly how to look life. at it. Yeah, that's just your, that's just, you would have yeah. all been, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, no, but sometimes it's, it's easier to not give people a choice. You know, that that's one of the the differences between the military and civilian life is the things that are, I don't want to say forced on you, but they're handed to you when that's that. Mandat uh, mandatory, yeah. voluntary yeah. type thing. Yeah. But, you know, the, well, the other problem is we're older and we can think a little bit. These guys, these guys life. and gals are 21, 22 years old in top shape and hormones are raging on both sides. So that. See, yeah. we're older well, and we're slowing I, down a little bit. We can think. I would love to hear <laughs> some stories about modern day submarines because I know what the guys got up to and we were stupid. What's a I would love like? to know what's going on on there now because you cannot tell me there's not a lot of. There, there's uh, a new. That, that, well, that, that must be captain's yeah. mass every other day. That's what it was like on the. No, submarine but what, what's, a, what's a port call like? Hey, for, for, forget being on the sub. When you pull into San Diego or Hawaii, what, what are you doing then? What's that like? I, I don't know. When you're on the pier drinking. What's it, what's it look like? So, I mean, dude. <laughs> well, you know what? The pilots went through this in 93 well, or 90, 91, 92. I your hot, hotties hanging out. That's all. It's the same as What's that, Stella? Wouldn't you just see a bunch of hotties hanging out and you could all be hanging out with them anyway? So it's not, it's just the same thing. They anyway. don't even have to be hotties. Just uh, well, hopefully okay. female. A female. It doesn't hopefully. Because you've been, you've been, you know, down under for three, three, uh, you know. Three months, all with a bunch of idiot guys. You're Any, anybody with hair female. longer than mine would be considered female. Exactly. Right. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, yes. I mean, it's, this is it's a big like... Deal. Uh, Give me some of that right now. I mean, Eric, what? how, how bad was You can smell... Um, oh, your senses perfume are... Yeah, perfume 10 miles away. When you, when you open that yeah. hatch. The pheromones yeah, carry in the wind. <laughs> After 72 days? Yeah, okay, we're walking. You know what? That's the bad thing. So guys are already walking hormones, and then you take a, you know, put them in a sub for three months, down under in the dark, well, bring them out, and their hormones are like on steroids, and then some. Well, you know how they say when you, when you lose one of your senses, like hearing or sight, that the other senses are heightened? I well, when that. you lose the ability to see women for three months, everything's heightened. <laughs> It's crazy. I like Marvin in the Those chat. Poor room. Women. Oh, hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, yeah, this is being know. recorded on Facebook, so everybody's gonna be able to see it. And every, this is a big topic. Uh, matter of fact, when I do my interviews, they want me to kind of squeeze it in. And I try, but it's such a hot topic, nobody wants to take a stance on it and say, Well, this is going they on. And, talk about it. They're scared no, to well, talk about it's, it. Listen, the military has been the leader. In every forward movement that we've ever had, like and, and with, the Navy, with, uh, segregation, more, the Navy's been more. You know, the mil the military led it. LGBTQ military led it. Yep. Uh, the military leads all these social issues, and it, and, it, and it's it's kind of funny. The people who get, you know, respected the most and saluted. Oh, thank you for your service. They're part of one of the most. Mm -hmm like uh, social or liberal organizations in the world. Right. You know, as far as like, this is your new life. And I've had, and, a, I've uh, had somebody tell me that uh, the military really is, it's, it's hyped up socialism. That's, that's exactly what it is. It's well, a form. I mean, it, it works for the time you're in. Everybody's part of a group. We all wear the same uniform. We all know each other's uh, pay structure. You get free medical, free housing. Um, I mean, it's, it's like a boarding school. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's just like that. But all, all these kids talking about, oh, I want a job where as soon as I graduate college, I get paid the big bucks. Well, you know, we've got an officer program in the military waiting for you. Yeah, you know, well, you go to I can tell you one thing. Years. Well, if Stella was on board the submarine, if she was like a, like an E five or something, I, you could tell she yeah. she's the one you got to go look for in the bars at two o'clock in the morning, get her back to the boat. She'll be up to no good. Oh, yeah. If I made it back. <laughs> she'd be at the chip shop. <laughs> Eric, she'd be at the chip shop near the pier. Oh, man. I'd be, I'd be hanging out. You guys wouldn't be able to get me back on that ship, probably. Uh, <laughs> no. Stella's not here. Oh. we got to get her here for quarters. we got to go find her on the beach. Well, I'm, I'm underway, you can find her sleeping in the fan room. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. Okay, I'm like, uh, I don't know what that is, so uh, perhaps you guys could never yeah, mind. That's well, you, did, you know in your know. house, the uh, the furnace filter you have for your air conditioning? Yeah. 
The way you put put the little filter in and out every month mm -hmm. on a submarine, that's an entire room. Oh. Okay. So. <laughs> so yeah. With, okay. Uh, the, with a bunch of the, the fan and it's it's nice and cool. It's yeah, the cleanest air on the submarine. Like, yeah, it's a good place to hide. And it's just you know nobody can find you there. No one can find you there. Yeah, it's hey, just. So if I'm hungover and then I just bring some more on, I'm good, right? Like I could just keep, hang out there forever and I'm well, good. There was good yeah, spots well, outboard well, the, the MCC is, too, right? Uh, on the right side of MCC, was there was a good spot forward right MCC. No, I'm sorry, rear rear right back MCC. There was like a hole that went back. Oh, there was a little cubby back there. There's a little storage area. Yeah, and it was kind of there's, cool. There's always nooks and crannies. Yeah, that was down range. around the the fan room as well. I mean, it wasn't. It was yeah, that's thing. where you bring all your extra civvies and. Uh, all your gidunk on board. Yeah, God, you guys I haven't had said a big, big storage thing. You had it going on in there. I'm like, it's like a whole. It was like an RV back in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I just know that I just be a wall Stella. I I just have a feeling. I would yeah, just you'd be AWOL. trouble. We'd have to go find. No, it, yep. It, you know, you guys would be and not joking. I think that goes on. I mean, me. there's men. You got to go. You got to go find guys sometimes. If the if it's like the fighter pilots. The women just got to where they were hanging with the, with the guys. They're just doing the same thing, so I, I don't yeah. think it's any different. I mean, it's been ten years, and and it's pro you probably got they're they're just hanging out and they protect each other and make sure each other gets back. So oh yeah, I think I think it's in a I mean, the camaraderie is huge. yeah. You you'd be sent on that secret mission. Go find Stella. She's off somewhere again. She's gone AWOL again. Get her back here. <laughs> now, see, that, now, that, that's something I can either confirm or, or deny. Being on a submarine, you did take care of each other. So if somebody wasn't yeah, nobody quite was ever enough hardly, to stand muster, yeah, AWOL, you always made sure you know, uh, Were there a few Eric, nights that was, like that for you, Pat? Sounds like it. Was that? A few nights for you like that, Pat? No, actually, I was pretty straight. I was, I was a hard charger. I, that uh, must have I been would, Eric. I would often go 36 hours without any sleep just for fun, just just to see what would happen. Just for fun? <laughs> what were you high? Well, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not actually high, but just. Did, uh, did you do a I refit just, out of Scotland? Not, not at sea. Right? Okay. I don't. Did you do a patrol out of Scotland? Oh yeah, all my. Well, I started off on the uh, on the Will Rogers. That's where you Will Rogers. So okay. yeah. I was out of uh, Holy Lock, yeah. So we and then had, I went we over had to one the patrol. Uh, I think we had to extend a refill when Coast. we got the party. But you, you had all these. So you had to get a cab yeah. driver. The guy b spoke well. He spoke English, but nothing like what we speak. And you have to tell him to take you to the bar. And, it was Scottish English. I, I got, got go. Which, take you to bar? <laughs> Which bar you want to go to? I take you. I take you. Oh, hey, we got people on board. We got people on board. <laughs> Yeah, you could barely. They would be a line of cab drivers there, just waiting to br bring you into town and to the oh, yeah. there. <clears throat> and oh, then yeah. there's three, four bars that everybody. I think the dolphin stuff, was called yeah. one. There was one of them called the Dolphin Room or something like that, if I remember right. And yeah, it, I remember like Club Sixty Six. Yeah, and Selmos. Yeah, and it seemed like the MTs hung yeah. out one thing, and uh, <laughs> F FTBs were always out. You know, because they never had any. No, but the big thing. Ship, you guys. No, but the big thing is, if you ever got drunk before you came back to the ship, you had to stop by for some fish and chips. Yeah. So yeah, and you got to get the, the grease. Fish and off. chips would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that would sort you right out. So if it was before okay. ten, that one place was open downtown. I think until ten o'clock at night, and that was the best place to get fish and chips. But if you if you missed so that, you guys had a lot of fish and chips, didn't you? Oh, it's, it, oh it, in Scotland, like you lived it. off of it. Yeah. <laughs> And then you yeah. got the lousy ones. I mean, the only other thing, well, the only other thing you had to eat in Scotland was haggis. No, oh, I Ew. couldn't do that. No. And I've had haggis. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's you got back on the you, have, uh, you got back on a Liberty boat, right? It's like those World War II boats you see in the movies, you know? Oh like, yeah. So you got to get on that launch and go out to the tender because the submarine tender's out in the middle of the lock. So you're you're rolling in this thing with greasy <laughs> fish and chips. All oh, kinds of God. beer, and not too many no people drink. would make it. <laughs> not too many people would make it. <laughs> oh man! Oh my gosh! I kind of oh my gosh! Yeah, the smell—you'd smell it too right when you got on there. Thinking about that—that's gross. <laughs> no, but these are hardened sailors. That's how. That's how you get your uh, your sea legs. I think they had like—I literally had like, like water hose or something. They just washed everything down and. 
Yeah, if you can be drunk on a ship in a bad sea state while eating greasy fish and chips, you are a sailor. You you've got an iron stomach. And then let's it, go. Let's give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but for some reason I miss I know, it. I, it why, why do I miss that? It doesn't make sense. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't do that right now. No, My body couldn't handle the best it. Time of your life right oh now. no. No, no, no. Even telling that story, you know, you're telling you, that story, you, I'm, your, I'm feeling seasick like, now, yeah. <laughs> you know, feel like you got that copper penny in your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that taste. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's no, like no. you know what's next. And then you're then, uh, then everybody's really hung over, unless you were on the watch section that night. Everybody's really hung over. You go out to sea. And they had a problem, Stella, where I think it was the British submarines who were doing it first. But it was deep enough to dive pretty quick when you got out of the lock. But the problem was is they were getting caught fishing nets and dragging fishing boats underwater. So we had mm. to stay on the surface for something like 10 to 12 hours to get way out before we dive. And submarines around, so it's just waving back and forth. There's no windows. you got no point of reference. You're hungover. It was yeah. horrible. What was I it thinking? Just like, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta tighten up. I mean, <laughs> oh my god! You know, even when I went on a cruise recently, I mean, um, my wife does okay on a, on a cruise ship, but on, on those tenders, you know, the the kids could get a little bit queasy. You know, my wife gets queasy, and I'm sitting there like, what? <laughs> you, know, you guys need to drink more. You know. <laughs> You didn't go recently. Well, That's not where you went last week, was it? You didn't go on a cruise last week, did you? No, no, no. The I, last cruise I said we went you, on you and was, COVID uh, went on a cruise last week. If that's <laughs> you and COVID. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, me and COVID went on a cruise. No, yeah. uh, it was a while ago, but we we had to cancel our Disney cruise because oh, of uh, man. <clears throat> uh, I'll bet the kids were the looking coronavirus. forward to that, too. Yeah, hey, it was, it was going to be... March thirteenth, okay. Friday the thirteenth, we were supposed to go. Oh, so March thirteenth, the uh, right. hospital sent out an email and said all doctors are forbidden to, to fly or go on cruises. Oh, well, well I, I, so if, your like, well, if your wife needs something to do, can she fly out here to Colorado? And I, I might need to be put on a bypass machine temporarily. Well, she doesn't do that, but oh. she can kind of <laughs> get you to the next guy. Yeah, yeah as a as a ER doctor. Her thing is, you're oh, not wow. dead. Go see a specialist. So you're not you come, dead. Go see a specialist. Okay. Yeah. So if you come in, Diane, she'll fix you up. So you're not dead. It's go like see the, a specialist. It's like the TV wait, show wait, wait. ER, right? Where they they crack open your ribs and she just puts her hands in there and squeezes it back to life. Yeah. Well, you know, it's so funny because um, when she tells the stories, it's it's just Renee talking about work. And it doesn't sound like TV. It don't sound the same. You know what I mean? So it's you like TV drama where they overdo it, and then no, but she'll have somebody with their their leg hanging off, or somebody shot up like with five bullets in them, and yeah, she's like, do, "Oh yeah, I'm fixing that." That's normal. How do you walk in? That's normal. How, how do you do that? <laughs> no, but that's I, I don't know how she does it. She's got the personality of a Sunday school teacher, and <laughs> she just uh, deals with the blood and guts, and you know. Every calamity that you would see in, in an ER, she she deals with it, and it's like, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's just but, crazy to be in medicine you know, period right now. I mean, with the COVID, I mean that's got to be crazy. Well, you know, the one story I always uh, when the shooting happened, when those fifty people were killed in that nightclub, what was that three years ago? It's been a while when that shooting. Oh, Pulse. Yeah. Remember oh my the gosh. Shooting Pulse? That's been. Did, yeah, yeah. Didn't you say nobody came to her ER, even though they were prepped? I'm going to get into the conspiracy here. Oh, no, 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 no. She was at a different place. Oh, okay. So, so she wasn't even normally, involved in that. There was a hospital right down the street from Pulse. And so they were able to take care of everybody there. Um, there's a couple of hospital groups in Orlando. Um, yeah, but you, had two, you still have two hospitals downtown Orlando. You have Winter Park. Memorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she wasn't at either of those. But, well, wanna... hey, so tell me, it must be that is – don't – in every town, there's always going to be like a really good hospital, and then there's going to be the death trap hospital, right? So they avoid the death trap one. So yeah, well, when you say that, being- yeah. I, okay, let, <laughs> let's just it. say there was a let's just say there was a death trap hospital. They kind of fixed that one up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Renee does not work for the death trap hospital. 
But we still have the, one here, so. And we're not going we're not going to say which one that one is either. <laughs> yeah, that that one's under new management. Oh, okay. and, kind, um, kind of like a hotel they just but, put a sign up new management oh yeah, i can go yeah, in just, here now you know, <laughs> nobody this is no longer the death trap you can come on in it's okay yeah or changing the <laughs> nightclub's name or whatever but um anyway what what happens is some hospitals are rated higher than the other for like trauma oh. So okay. if it's yeah. like massive gunshots or uh, a, a plane crash or uh, a busload of uh, right transplant patients doing some kind of sports or whatever, and they they get food poisoning. So you know, if it's like the worst kind of whatever, there's certain hospitals that are already prepared for that, and that's where uh, the Pulse Nightclub. Yeah, Florida's unique be. for that too, because there was a hospital near the space center that was prepared to take in astronauts or anybody affected in a launch. Yeah. So was, I think it was Melbourne uh -huh. and. Uh, Titusville, I think Parrish was ready for that. And then you had the hospital up there by the Yeah, but they the wouldn't track. take them everywhere. They wouldn't, yeah. they wouldn't take them everywhere, though. They would, no, they yeah, would they, drive they by a hospital. They were prepared for certain. Right. Yeah, and the, and the one for Daytona yeah. uh, Daytona 500 up there, the Speedway, that hospital is geared for Cause, people. Because what happens is if you go to, say, a, a lower-tier hospital, and I, I know I'm using the wrong word, so even you know, for my wife, it was going to kill me for saying the wrong terms, but... If you go to the wrong place, they can fix you up, but then you got to go somewhere else for your surgeries. So you might as well go to the place where you're going to end up at. You yeah, know what I mean? Because well, they, they'll have all the specialists. Of course, to fix that you. makes perfect sense. And that's what, you know, our death drop hospital does here. Actually, you know what they do? Actually, here's what it is. You go in there, they'll say, oh, nothing's wrong with you, and they send you home. They don't even send you on. Oh, they, they, they have you bounce you back? So if you bounce back two or three times, then they take you serious? Uh, no. No, you, around just, here. you go home and die. I don't <laughs> the know one I'm words. thinking oh, about, they don't care. <laughs> if you really oh, struggle, just don't go there and go, and, and go 30 miles to get to the next one. It's okay. Oh, wow. It's just okay. Yeah, so it's it's a lot better if you have that pre-plan. If you, if you already know, that's your game. And if you're like me. So. Well, you know, earlier this year, I um, ended up with... a you know, appendicitis. Oh my and gosh. And I painful. had the choice, right? Like, uh, and I had to drive myself. I drove 30 minutes. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it's crazy. It didn't I, burst, like, did I it? Not, I hope I'm it didn't get septic. Uh -uh. <laughs> hey, you know what? I made it. I, I See, I'm here to tell the tale. All right. The doc was a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey they, they had enlisted, speaking of, back to the submarines, you had enlisted corpsmen, E6, E7, and they were trained to do minor surgeries. Like I don't think that's a minor surgery, but they could do an appendicitis. They were trained to do that, and then still, really? yeah, any, anything that's uh, life saving, like uh, down and dirty, you're gonna die, or I can cut you open and you live. Oh, you it won't take a syringe baby, too for the heart. Out. Just rip it right through the rib hey, cage. <laughs> the, listen, yeah. yeah, it won't be the the prettiest uh, scar, but. Uh, you could be dead or have an ugly scar. Okay, but fine. While you're in there and you're cutting me up, just make sure you're pulling out that appendix, that gallbladder, and that spleen because I don't need any. There's all three of them, right? <laughs> Let's so just give me one scar. We're good. Yeah. We got you know, a three for one special cut of it. <laughs> that sounds like what yeah, I need. Just clean her out. You know. Just take them all. If you're going to give me no, another like scar, the, like your wisdom all teeth. three. Like There's your my wisdom battle teeth. Do I get a purple heart for that? Yeah, well, it's like your wisdom teeth. When you go to dental and they go, hey, one of your, your teeth is crooked and coming in weird, we're going to take all four of your wisdom teeth out. Yeah, they did do that. Okay. Yeah, they did that because they didn't want to deal with it when you got underway. You didn't want your corpsman pulling yeah. your teeth out. That's for sure. You do not well, want any plus, dental. You know, that's just extra money for them, too. That's the cool thing, right? What's that? They, plus, they get extra money for that. That's a pretty cool thing. No, right? these are... These are um, uh, oh, this military is, oh, this is, oh, this is when you're on the ship. Never mind. No, no, no. In, in port. So in when, port. when you're on shore duty um, and, and you go through all your medical procedures, yeah. uh, you'll go to dental and they'll check you out and say you need your wisdom teeth removed. And they'll just take them all at once just to be done with it. Yeah, for, for nine hey, years, you know Stella. Figure, why not just be put in pain once instead of four times? Right. Because well, it makes I sense. Mean, that's just being smart. <laughs> 
I mean, you, you can't know, do it. Same with sense. the surgery. You know, you're in pain one time, you get all three of those organs out. You don't need them. In <laughs> well, removing organs is a lot different than teeth. I don't know how right. I got but, on, you on know, the medical take thing. Take them all but. out. <laughs> Get it done. Get her done. <laughs> well, if you're going to have a Corman crazy. cut on you, you might well just get everything done. Can I get the whole, I need this done too. Can you help me out? Help my brother out. <laughs> hey, could you kind of lift these right here? We'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now we got females on board. Oh, Who we got plastic surgery. They teach you that too. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to go there. Yeah, doing Botox parties. Why, why are you doing yeah, a spleen yeah. um, and a, an appendix? <laughs> I, I need an adjustment. <laughs> That's I wrong. I need adjustment. It's a little further <laughs> up, but I think you can handle yeah. that. Kick out a couple of ribs while you're at it. Oh, man. That's what <laughs> I need. Gee, this is a mess. <laughs> How did we get here? I don't, I don't know. know. Oh, because I, I brought up I brought, brought up me having almost having a heart attack. So, Or may, maybe I did. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. your heart attack. I'm still waiting to see if it was real or not. The main thing, if I if I gave my pain to people, is uh, all the crap that's been done to me or ha and happened to me, you'd be screaming at the ER, going, "Give me everything you got!" You, you know, all these Nitrous different procedures. Pain, you just nitrous. get used to it. You get used to having pain. Yeah. Just you, start yelling for the nitrous, and you won't care what they do to you. Well, that's why I was like, where, where, do, where do I find the nitrous? Because I want to try that. It might work. I don't know if it'll help with pain or not. <laughs> When, okay, so when was the last time you were at your dentist? Huh? Hey, is that the same nitrous they use in a car? No, nah, it can't be. No. Everybody, everybody no, be down it's, there. It's, hey, can you give me some of that nitro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, you want to it's, explode it's close. It's <laughs> down the road? Yeah, you betcha. Hey, you using that for your car? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's exactly what I'm Yeah. <laughs> What's those hey, oxygen masks for? I don't for? know if they still have them, I'm, I'm, but <laughs> they have nitrous bars somewhere they used to. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you could just go in and hook up a tube and like sit there and suck on nitrous for a while and then, oh, okay, I'm done, I'm good, and then you leave. Hey, that's yeah, what right. we, it's legalized nitrous bars. We, we should start the movement. You should be allowed to do that. Yeah. Right? Oh, you could kill, you're going to kill somebody. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it, as soon as you make anything record, somebody's going to break it. That's true. You know, well, I guess you can do I a bunch of marijuana. It doesn't kill you. <laughs> What's that? I think they had them in Vegas. Oh, they, now I know they have the oxygen bars. Oh. With the, with with the scented oxygen. Bars. So you can go huff on pure oxygen for a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Let's, even, give them, let's do a nitrous one. Yeah. And even that's not good for you. I just found out. What? Nitrous? Huff, high, 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 pure, oxygen. Oxygen. pure oxygen is not good for you? Really? Well, n not not long term, no. Huh. Once you start messing around with pure anything, it goes crazy. Huh. Well, you know, because you know, when we did field day, they'd always crank problem. up the bleeds for us. Well, it's time to clean Oh, yeah. Up. Now, Scrub the thing up, is, crank up the air bleeds. was kind of low. The O2 level is low in submarines to keep the fires down. Yeah, that's what people don't realize. They, you're like, supposed to be like... What is it, 18 or 19 percent? You're supposed to be. So we have to look. Somebody has to look that up. No, we're. I think we're like 20 percent natural. 20 to 21 percent, just what we have now. All right. They drop on the moon on us. I don't know what atmosphere. Yeah, it's uh. <laughs> atmosphere. What are you looking up? Oxygen percentage. Oxygen level. Because for some reason, Eric, are you looking up the oxygen percentage? Seventeen sticking in. My my percent twenty point nine five is uh that's high yeah now I'm thinking oh, we had it down to dirty. seventeen something because it, it, you're right we're having a bunch of fires and the captain got tired of it so he's cranked it down I and you're half over. asleep all the time and then when it's time to scrub the sub they crank it back up I'm wondering if that's classified information <laughs> but it isn't yeah. now. Yeah, twenty eight. Hey, I can't believe I held on to some information from uh, twenty years from ago. Thirty years ago, man. <laughs> yeah, I still hold it. Yeah, twenty one percent oxygen is what we have right now, and they would run about nineteen on submarine. So, what oxygen percentage are you getting every night, there, Eric? Uh, actually, that's another problem that's being worked up. I, 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 so every breath I take is oh, in Colorado. Miracle. So yeah, I got They're working on hypoxia with me. I have, I have several conditions that have worsened in the last couple of years that they're working on. At Dude, the same you, time, you I changed the entire doctor team at the same time. So it's not fun. <laughs> Eric, 
You, huh? You've got an environmental form of coronavirus because that's what it does. It messes with your, your lungs. That's what people think. You're not I getting enough air in Colorado? <laughs> I've been tested. Hey, you're not getting enough. You're not getting enough air up there? Well, yeah, so you're I mean, so you're already high, you're already a mile up there. anyways. I mean, That's why they call know. it the mile high city. So I got, got that, but your body builds up uh, extra. I, I'm probably saying it wrong. Red blood cells, and somebody said like another quarter blood, so you can carry the oxygen. Yeah. Wouldn't you be? But you know what? I also know is the where's the altitude at there? Is it higher than where I'm at? Yes. No. Yeah, if you go up in the mountains, it is. Uh, uh, as far as where we're at well, here, I think the altitude is higher yeah. in Denver than it is in Salt Lake or. Where well, you? you're then coming. Maybe you need to be somewhere where it's lower altitude. You know, that's what I'm wondering. There's your issue. Well, the, well, the thing is, that if See, we, COVID level. didn't happen, I wasn't even knowing about this oxygen issue. It's just when things like this happen, you, you develop new yeah. problems. And I go, oh, no. I'm dizzy all the oh, time no. wearing a mask. Mask. Why, why am I falling down dizzy? <laughs> well, crud, you know, it's the CO2, man. We're breathing it in, baby. <laughs> so, what you got going on there, Pat? What you drinking? I'm trying to figure out how much air you got. Oh, um, I, I'm, I mean, I'm doing all right. I'm 91, 92 percent, you know, with the finger monitor. My, yeah. wife, my wife is at 97, 98, so I got, I got problems. I think, I think uh, at 89, true. 88, they start, you start having uh, organ problems. You're not getting enough oxygen. That would explain why my yeah, brain gotta, shut off. <laughs> yeah, you got to go for those brisk walks now. I'm trying to do those when I can. But the thing is, is I'm, I got to stay away from surgeons. Every time I walk by a surgeon, speaking of what styles, I, I walk by a surgeon, they want to cut on me. So I just got to stay away from them, period. Yeah, you got to get, get in, uh, They can only take the three organs and that's it. Yeah. yeah well, I'm a surgical training simulator is what I always say. Just like, uh, you know, had the CPR dummies on the surgical dummies. They go cut on him if you need a practice. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! Oh, what what did I click on? You just I'm clicked on, on the, the save and say there's choice. I'm I'm hitting all the little uh, icons on here like wow and ha ha <laughs> and care. I yeah. love this. Hey, we do have some uh, uh, Kenny Miller's on Gary Abel's Ed Perry. Hey, all oh, welcome to the Sailor's Choice, the first run on the subvet.com. We're gonna try to do this at least twice a week if we can get it figured out. So uh, please uh. That Give us a awesome. thumbs up if you if you, if you can hear us okay and it, and it sounds right. all right. Oh, <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to go back and edit this and see how it looks. So. Oh yeah, we'll definitely do all that. There's gonna be a lot of editing. Yeah, I hate we'll, to tell you. But we had several <laughs> things we were gonna talk about. What was one of the items that we were gonna talk about? And Pat? we didn't bring. I don't know. Oh well, hey, uh, still the the thing we were talking about earlier that uh, I wanted to say is um, all the things that got the coronavirus right before it happened. So I just started watching, uh, was it Contagion? Is, yeah, it, is that the movie so, with yeah, Gwyneth so Paltrow? Yeah, so I told you about Contagion, which is freaky, because that happened in, two, was it 2001? Yeah, so you watch that movie. Now, everything, I, I would say in the movie, everything moves a little bit too fast. Mm. Well, they only got, only got an hour and a half to two hours. You got to move it fast, right? Oh, hold on. Oh. I got to turn that audio down. Oh, yeah. So in the in the movie, everything moves a little bit too fast. So I would say one day is a week in the movie. So everything's very compressed to, to make the movie go on. So, but, so uh, how close was know, the movie? Unknown to virus from China, respiratory, um, pass through contact, and and um, you know breathing. They shut schools down. Uh, and like hey, I said, I'm only halfway. Up, you said the, the virus was from day, China but, in the movie. The virus is from China in the movie. Yeah, oh, oh from uh, bats that's, that's or freaky. pigs to bats. <laughs> this is a tw this is nineteen. This years is like ago. crazy. Do you think this is all a conspiracy theory? <laughs> no, it's it's uh, two thousand eleven. So I don't know. I know. Anybody like just, they knew us in advance. Like they were preparing us. To yeah, know, hey, and so they just they just life? copied the movie and did it. Yeah. But the only the only funny thing is in the movie the CDC is running everything. Well, you got to get your yeah. uh, Google so. <laughs> Smart tattoo. You got to get your Google Smart tattoo, and and everything will be okay. You don't need to carry your wallet anymore. They know where yeah. you're at. Don't need your cell phone. You just now, you're, now you're going into the deep end. Like Star Trek, you know, you can just call right here. <laughs> Same thing. But, <laughs> but one thing that is uh, really creepy is we went to GameStop to get a couple of video games 
when the uh, pandemic first started. Okay. And there was this one game that was put out in 2016 called The Division. And it's about this secret government organization that gets uh, called into action once everything fails. Well, and The uh, Division sounds it bad. It starts already. off. <laughs> yeah, well, it starts off with a virus in New York on Black Friday. And society falls. And, and I, I sent you a trailer. Maybe you can post that later in the, uh, in the editing. So we'll put it here. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can put it. In and so way, everybody can pretend like they. Can yeah, stop. so when we get done, I'll, yeah, but, uh, I'll edit this up. I'll put it on YouTube, and uh, we'll put some links. But yeah, yeah, so what? So what happens is uh, everything from the, you know, the cops and the the federal agents. Like we weren't trained for this. Uh, everybody writing, people uh, hoarding things. We're out of toilet paper and uh, sanitizer. This is in this video, video in 2016, video game. they're like, we have no hand sanitizer. You know? Wow. So it's it's just crazy. This stuff is known. We're going to have people it's show up to our house tonight. Great fiction. They, they're just recreating everything, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. And the CDC is writing it. Hey, yeah. you guys want to hear something really funny? This yeah. it has to do with the hoarding and everything of this, right? So, you know, every, Everybody decided, to, hey, let this is a great idea. Let's all hoard our meat, right? Let's go out and, and just buy the food out of the stores and hoard you meat, meat, right? You meat hoarder! You <laughs> meat hoarder. Well, they had nowhere to put it, right? So then then there was a the run on buying up all the freezers. <coughs> oh, wow. I, okay. Why do I think it uh, was happening here? I think that people were buying freezers. They were so now they bought up all the freezers. Okay. So... One of my girlfriends, she's like, she puts out on Facebook, oh my gosh, we got back from out of town and our freezer's dead. And I oh. can't find a freezer anywhere. Anywhere. You can't order one. You can't buy one. She couldn't buy one used. She's like begging for a freezer. Guess what Stella had? A brand new freaking freezer in her garage that she got from her brother-in-law. Now, They're just sitting I want there. you to know, I could probably, yeah, I could have probably sold that sucker for three grand. You probably could have. Think about it. Yeah, yeah it? be real. It would have been worth a lot of money. For, there was a window where a lot of stuff was worth a lot of money. And people were hoarding to so, sell just like that. That was going on. Yeah, right it, now, it's crazy. Right now, I could probably I could have put it online and sold it for three grand, and some sucker out there would have bought it because huh. they would have had all this meat. That, where am I going to put all this stuff? Well, here, they're, they're pushing. Um, the, why, why are we pushing the corona thing again? But we've been rioting for, what, two months now? And you're gonna get it if yeah, you're if you're together out there in the streets, rioting. You're gonna you're gonna catch it. It doesn't make any sense what's going on. Well, this sure. is just this is just how powerful wearing a mask is because uh, all those guys out there rioting with masks on, they're they're probably gonna be okay. Yeah. yeah. So if you're gonna go riot, wear a mask. Okay? Yeah. And, Don't and go. The, the, the subbet.com really awesome endorses mask. mask while you're rioting. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. yeah well, if, mask, if, if you're gonna mask, if you're gonna riot, make sure you've like got Batman. a got a good quality mask. Oh, you're you know, you've got some, <laughs> Make sure you got some good goggles. You know. Goggles. Yes. Yes. Okay. So yourself. go ahead and put those yeah. on for us, Pat. Uh, let us so, see what it looks you know, like. Protect yourself. If you're gonna riot, <laughs> you know, um, just just stay stay clean and all that. Do you have I any recommendations for a good riot? My friend's mask list. I'm trying yeah, to think of I what I'd want to go get now. if I was going to riot, and I could. Yeah. I don't know. Like, People need to start rioting libraries and get a book. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just your mask. Where's your mask? Yes. You know your, your mask mask. Yeah. <laughs> the gas mask. Some of these people need to go riot and get Up some here. science hey, books. Why those people breaking into the library the over there? <laughs> I just got to show them this one. They need some knowledge. You know? <laughs> Sorry, my friend. You're hey, okay. maybe this happened. And all before. these people who are I know. I know you are. Hey, and all these people oh, who are clamoring to it. get into okay, these churches. Uh -huh. uh, actually open your Bible and read it. Don't just do all the singing and stuff because you're gonna spread germs, but actually go to your church and read your Bible. You like the you know, mask? You, you might get that? some <laughs> Oh my god, what do we got here? <laughs> what is it? We got... it's, it, that's a hot that? mess. <laughs> That's her her riot gear. Look at this. That's the riot mask. You like that? Oh man! Endorse that. I don't even know what to do with that. 
Well, you know, why are you doing that? Nice why, why do you got a mask like that? How's that happen? <laughs> that looks like uh, that, that looks like a real gas mag in military that's been painted. You know what? I I'm not. You know what? I'm pleading the fifth on that. Hey, Eric. <laughs> so listen, if we're gonna break out props, you gotta give me time to get ready because I, I got I got some of my full face gas masks okay. out there. Well, we can okay. do it right. I mean, it's uh, we'll, we'll meet again because we've been on an hour now, and and it's been yeah. a train wreck for the most of it. It's getting past my bedtime. So um, it is past my bedtime. Look, I'm gonna choke myself with my cord. So next, so we know how to get this working now. So next time we will we'll get we'll get an outline, get some props, make sure we make sure we're ready to go. I like the props. Yeah. Okay. I'll have my I'll have my masks of shame. Okay. No problem. That that'll be good. <laughs> so I guess I guess so. we'll wrap this up. So this is Eric with the subvet.com. We got Patrick here. And, uh, and uh, Stella Luna, she's a comedian out in Utah. Anybody want to give out their email addresses? No? I'm not giving out my email address. Yeah, I'm not, giving out. No, not, not today. Not today. So maybe <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get some email addresses, but you contact me, the subvet. You can find me at the subvet. You go to the subvet.com. You can see some of my interviews, and uh, anybody would like to do an interview with I me. Mean, you know, we kind we of joke around on here, but if you'd like to do an interview about. Uh, what you're doing in life. I know I've had some people that, that are leadership and got books and uh, you know, check out there's a lieutenant commander around there, another officer on it, uh, John Rennie. He's doing great things, a lot of podcasts too. So check all that out. But other than that, uh, we're, you guys want to meet up again Thursday? Yeah, yeah, we could do something then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thursday's the next time off. Okay. <laughs> so you guys catch us Thursday night and uh, hopefully the train wreck won't be as bad. Next time, but uh, other than that, this is Eric Ryle with the subvet.com. Stella Looney, Patrick 13 Green and Go. And you have a fine Navy day. And I'm out. You're out.